bet. So I'm back. Like I said, I'm not a mutt banger. I'm probably going to keep whatever just happened in the other video in here. Dude, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just hungry and I, you know, just figured I would talk because a lot of people do like to see the people that are behind the videos. Um, I have nothing to hide. I mean, I'm not perfect. You know, it is what it is. Mm, I'm so good. I'm ready to stick my hands down into the crawfish, but it's hot as hell. I wish you guys could see that more. And I'll probably dump that all over the thingy. Let's see if I can scooch it back. So, how about that? Now, like I said, I hope that's okay. But, it is what it is. But, I did have some topics that I wanted to talk about. It's not major. Well, I'm not saying everything is major to me. I'm one of those people. So, I guess everything is major to me. But, um, honestly, I really just would love to have a panel of people um that talk about like-minded topics like you know that's on my channel there's a lot of us out there but i don't see really that many panels and collaborations you know i'm all about grabbing all the youtubers that have a thousand and under subscribers and linking up with them and informing you know panels and so we could connect with each other and then we'll be able to connect our fan base or our little you know our you know subscribers together so we can start growing you know our channel or whatnot so i don't know my phone's over here flashing crazy i have no idea why it's acting that way but it is so whatever the devil is a lie but yeah um i'm about to dig in here oh i did oh and onions i told what i had how i had cooked this in the other part of the video if it's not if it's cut out, but um, I have onions thrown in here with beer, water, a little bit of water, butter, salt and pepper, and a lot of ingredients. Whiting, fish, and just some crawfish. I really don't eat meat anymore. My body does not like meat. Um, I've done this a couple times throughout my life. Like I said, I'm 36 years old. But it's just weird because... I wake up and it's just like I don't want any meat. Oh, today's Sunday. Football, baby. Roll time. But yeah, so. But I don't know. So I'm really not into meat. I'm really not into anything they feed us. But we have to eat something. And where I live right now, I can't have my own garden and stuff the way I would like to have it. Because I know how to do all that. Because my dad has one. And like I said, if you're from the South originally and you don't know how to start your own fire, possibly change a tire, possibly learn how to change your oil or oil filter, hunt a little bit, um, grow stuff. <laughs> um, you guys uh, may need to uh, ask for some help. Or I don't know. I don't want to make no remarks because, you know, I got some Southern friends. Gotta watch out for the bones. But, mm. Spilly. So, excuse me. Southern friends. I mean, northern friends. So, I'm gonna offend none of them. But most of them can fend for themselves like they were born and raised here. And there are places up in the north that are like the south. So, that's a stereotype anyway. But, I have no idea what I'm going to be talking about in this video besides whatever comes on my mind. Like I said, I do have some topics, but I want to start a panel. Like, I have this real, I've done a, a lot of research on Antarctica, and it talks about, well, I've linked, like, hot. I've linked, let's see, like, you know those people in Siberia? That supposedly, you know, dug the hell, the uh, well to hell. And you can hear people screaming. It's, to me, it sounds like torment. Um, you know, that's been connected to uh, Antarctica. There's caverns in Kentucky. Right up here, up the road from me in the Appalachians. Appalachians, however you want to say it. But I say Appalachians, whatever. Um that connect to Kentucky and Kentucky connects Antarctica and everything is underground. 
Like if you don't believe in reptilians, you need to wake up because they, they've been here, honey. That's who runs the mu music industry. That's who runs the, that's who runs the world, man. I don't care nobody's there. They run the world. Um, mm, excuse me. Let's see. And then, you know, I was like checking out like late, was it Vostick, Vostok? Um, it talks about how there's another lake within the lake so many meters down to where we can't even get to or swim to because we probably would, I think we would suffocate, the, you know, unless you're a mermaid, merman. Mm. Be pretty cool. Um, and then, of course, Atlantis. And then, like, I, okay, this is, I cannot draw. Don't y'all make fun of me. I don't care if you do. But there's things like this. You see that? That has been found. Underground chambers. Beautiful. I'm talking about like metal, real technology, Jetson type of ish. And then let's see if I can show. Um, let's see. Like I said, I my, my life is research. So I want to do a panel on this stuff. If anybody sees this, you're familiar with all this stuff. Excuse my spelling. But this is just a notebook of stuff that I see and my research. So if you guys are really into anything, you know, this stuff, please let me know. Just saying. I'm really wanting to start a panel with Antarctica. Um, also, there's a connection to the Garden of Eden, and I really think the Garden of Eden is there. I don't care what nobody says. There is a connection. There is a connection. Okay? So I do want to start a panel, people, please. So, like I said, it is what it is. Handy day notebook. This is one of many. And like I say, you know, if I when I die, not if I die, when I die. Um, and the world goes on and people get more blind and they're probably more controlled and everybody probably may look the same. It's gonna be weird. I don't know. I just have this. I don't know. I just feel like everybody's gonna be like looking the same. Or whatnot, right? You know, in a sense of color possibly it is possible to genetically remove certain colors after a while you wash it out or we're going to be con very more controlled than we are now like right now we do have a little bit of freedoms me sitting here doing this right now is a little bit of freedom but i'm also gang stalled and for those that uh don't know what that is um i just sum it up as it's bigger than a government program, but the government is involved. Maybe not all of them, but there's a. it's got to be a branch off somewhere. But I think it's really ran by, you know, the dude that had to just have it all and fell down here and screwed it up for the rest of us or whatever. Um, but I really think it's ran by bad. Um, and it's mind control, technology, um, weaponry. It's just all a mental mind screw. Every day I leave my house, and I could have started my YouTube channel. Like I've been on YouTube for, since 2008. I uploaded maybe one or two videos, maybe three in 2012, I think. But I really didn't, and I'm and I am I'm not saying I'm like, oh, I'm serious, but I am serious because, you know, I sit around anyway, I research this stuff and I talk, so why not try to spread it? There are people that are listening to me, and I thank you guys for that. You. Hold up, where the camera at? Bam, you guys. See my little finger. I love you guys. So, yeah. But, that's my son. Chill out, bubba. Sorry about that. It was a big bone. So, um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yes. So, with the game stalking. So, anyway, I just, you know, it's just... I have done videos on it. There's videos everywhere out there on it. Listen, if you just type in gang stalking and you never heard of it, a lot of stuff will pop up. Okay? Like, it's real. A lot of stuff will pop up. And I'm looking back and forth because I hate this phone and my camera's over there. But for some reason, I'm looking here and it's weird. So, I'm just 
gonna continue. I'm maybe I'm just gonna look above the camera. Who knows? Okay, so I'll just look that way. So yeah. But every day I leave my house, honestly. And like I said, I started posting more this this year, a couple months ago. And I've always noticed before I even knew what game stalking was. I didn't know what it was. When I heard of it at first, I laughed like everybody else that I tell it to. So that's a given. That's karma, right? So I laugh about it. Never really researched it. I think the name is what th throws a lot of people off. And they don't realize that F the name is what's going on that matters. But, um, crawfish. But so every time I leave my house, even to this day, and I am going to start documenting this and recording it um, and just throwing it on my channel. I don't have any order or any type of sanity for my channel. It is what it is. Can you see that? Yeah. I love it. Um, it's a big daddy. He says, hello, guys. Woo. Okay. So anyway, so but every time I leave my house, there's always... A white car, white truck, yes, I do eat these, white van, white vehicle, right? So, every day. Now, when I pull out of my neighborhood, it always starts. Starts there on the main highway, okay? No less than two, two to three white cars. They're either driving slow or they get behind me too fast or there's nobody on the highway, right? Not nobody on the highway, but they're not, I don't, you know, notice them. And the traffic's pretty calm. And every time I know the traffic's calm, I know there's going to be a bunch of white cars or road construction without a sign put up or um, somebody on a moped. I know this sounds funny, but this is really what happens. So my screen just jumped. I have no idea what happened, but it jumped. So yeah, so I am being gang stalked. They love using the color white. It's no racist thing. I have a bunch of white friends. It's not about that. It's just a point, like it's the white cars. Like I have a video about a guy that has like trucks with trailers and I do get a lot of trailers, but see, I can't say, oh, okay, well maybe they're trying to program me and mess with me with a truck and a trailer behind it or something with a trailer behind it, you know, like a trailer as far as putting things in to drag behind a vehicle. For those that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm in the South, so, huh, it's 420 on my phone. <laughs> um, so I'm in the South, so we always have hitches and trailers, so I can't really say that that's something particular that I've noticed to be a mind F for me. But I can honestly say the white cars, as soon as I see the, the two, and they're always in front of each other, we're behind me. I never really get them beside me. And they're always, like, I will change. I have three routes I take, right? I'm still looking the other way, whatever. Sorry. I have three routes that I take, okay? And I switch them up because I learned how to play the game. And I tell people it sucks, but if you let it get to you and start stressing you out and stuff, um, you got to know how to play the game, okay? You got to know how to play the game. And I'm learning. I'm not saying I know everything about the game, but I don't let it get to me. I don't let it stress me out when I'm in traffic and they're in front of me making me late for work, late to school, or if I'm off, right? And I'm just randomly going somewhere. I try not to text anybody to tell them where I'm going. And I'm not saying that. That's your spy in there, buddy. I'm not saying that I don't trust my friends, but I don't have many. And that's my choice. Um, but I don't even want to put that in this video because I'm not even going to talk about that. That's... There's more going on in the world than talking about friendships. I'm sorry. Because what the hell is a friendship when the world is under control, under attack, or well, under attack, but literally we can see that we're under attack. The veil's being lifted. 
And I do apologize if this video is everywhere. Um, I just wanted to talk. And most of the people that I can talk to are on here. Seriously. So, give me one second. Let me check something. So, yeah. So, those who catch this will catch it. You know what I mean? The fingers are on fire. So, yeah. But, I love the friends that I do have. Um, and I have a cousin. And I don't want to say I don't consider her a friend. And I don't want to offend her if she ever sees this. But, she knows she's way beyond a friend. It's nothing against my friends. Even my friends aren't my friends. They're like my joints. And I don't need too many joints that could mess up my body or make me hurt get the metaphor so um yeah so i don't know but i just feel like the bell's being lifted i was watching planet x news um they're live actually and i'm loving all these people i love the growth of all these type of channels and i love that people actually watch this because growing up in the 80s 90s i mean it was big but somewhere in the middle the magic and the indiana jones feeling to want to explore and get to you know know the unknown to me is lost i don't know shout out to miller high life so but there was a strange anomaly in the sky. It's in Trinidad. I want to say it's Trinidad here. I don't know if there's a... Tr Look, y'all, don't don't get mad at me. I'm not even thinking right now. I'm hungry, and I need to eat some greens. 